All right, you guys, we're here with, um, we're gonna have uh, Leo Sun Pisces Moon, my friend Sam. She's also a very famous tarot, tarot reader and we're doing a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces only today. We will collab in the future and do some more signs, but this is for Pisces. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to post so that other people could come in. Let me know. Um, I'm going to add her into the Zoom. Give me one second, you guys. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're going to be doing this. Give me one second, though. Let me just. Uh... Okay. Now, here's how we're going to do it. Participants, invite. <clears throat> Okay, give me one second. Let me just invite her into the into the live. There we go. All right, she should have this. And okay, so we're gonna do a collaboration reading. Um, all right, so let me make sure she got it. This is going to be great because, okay, um, I'll let you guys, oh, okay, hold on. Give me one second. I'm sorry, you guys. Eight, two, three, six, zero, six, three. Let me just, I'm sorry, you guys, because we're, you know, we're figuring this out too. So with you guys, this is going to be great. So just stay tuned, be patient. Thank you for the guys who are being patient. 797641. <clears throat> The first one, Sammy, the first one is my meeting ID and the passcode for you to get in. And the second one is the is uh, the YouTube link you could send to everybody so they could get in the in the YouTube in the chat. Thank you, Tanya. I love you, babe. How's everybody feeling? <clears throat> it's been an interesting day, huh? <clears throat> so yeah, so this is interesting because the person that's joining my live here. She, um, she's, I'll tell you guys when she gets in here. Hey guys, um, so if you guys are all over on Instagram, maybe you wanna jump on YouTube so you could see the collaboration. If you guys are on Instagram, jump on YouTube. <laughs> I have um, <clears throat> my girl, um, my girl Samantha. She's a YouTube, a YouTuber, and she does tower readings. And we're doing a collaboration Pisces reading today. So if you guys um, want to jump over to YouTube, if you guys can go to YouTube. If you want to stay on Instagram, that's fine. But um, I'm actually live with somebody on my YouTube who's going to. Oh, that's funny. There's 33. I'm seeing the number 33 here. The number four. Um, if you want to jump over to my YouTube, because um, it's all about Pisces today, and I'm collaborating with another reader, and she insisted that we only do Pisces because she says Pisces has never done her wrong. They've always been good to her. So if you guys want to jump over to YouTube to watch the, the collaboration, you can, or you could just watch from here. It doesn't matter. <coughs> As you know... Give me a second, you guys. As you know, I've been saying this for a while now. One second, you guys. Let me just. Let 
been clearing up like my sinuses have just been like out of control and I don't know that's what I'm saying everybody's like saying this saying this I'm like yeah bitch <laughs> that's that poison in the water but we gotta meditate that shit out of our lives right all right so um I made a Turkish coffee cup for everybody Whew. and I'm feeling a lot of energy here Pisces is in Neptune I believe now right if I'm not mistaken Pisces is in Neptune now um, let me see. Let me make sure because I got a text her. Hold on, you guys. Don't don't hang up <laughs> again. Okay. All right. So I think Pisces is in Neptune today. Ooh, crown chakra, guys. Oof, this is. All right. So now I have a collaboration reading with Sammy. With Sammy, and it's funny because my dad's name was Sammy, right? And she's um, Leo Sun, Pisces Moon, right? Um, and. <clears throat> My dad's name was, they called him Sam. And I, I, I was like, I, I'm going to do this reading for you, with you for Pisces. But also, you know, I do feel a spiritual energy coming through for her. So I'm like, I already know spirit's going to turn this into some kind of reading for her. But I just want to keep it directed to you guys and ask spirit to um, whatever messages to hold them off till after or, or even after, even during the live. Okay. Freco, my boo boo. I was just using the um the blanket you gave me um Nadia it was so it's so it's so I was using it on the on the window because we're moving we're moving right now we're in the process of moving there's a lot going on I have meetings today like it's just a lot it's a lot but I'm grateful we're grateful right we're grateful for anything no matter what happens <clears throat> so let me see if um a Leo son is that her right there hey Hold on, hold on, because I can't hear you. Hold on. Okay. Um, take off the mute off your phone, off your thing. The mute button is on. Check on the bottom to see the mute button. There it goes. There you go. Hi. I was wondering why you couldn't hear me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi. What are you? Oh, doing? can you see me? Do I look bad? Oh my God. Oh, beautiful. Look at me, girl. Girl, I I was just in the process. You, I told you I was moving all day. I was moving all day. So all I did was just really honestly just put my stuff together and was like, I'm just going to go on live because, um, okay. So before everybody, we even start, she's already got her cards in the hand. She's ready to go. But before we start, before we start, obviously, you know, you always post about your dad and stuff, right? Um, yeah. I want to say before this reading, even started, I already felt like that energy coming through, <coughs> especially in my throat. I'm just going to say this so that I could get it out the way. I want you to know that I do, I, you know, as a like serious person who really takes it seriously, I would never tell you this. If I didn't feel it strongly, um, my chest and my throat was tightening up so strongly that I had to like clear the energy because it's still happening now. So I don't know what happened there, but I'm not oh my God, Flo, that's my dad. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. I don't he, know. Oh my God, no, stop, stop. Because for real, like he, he, whenever he would lay down because he had um, congestive heart failure, that's how he passed away. He would always say, it feels like an elephant sitting on my chest. And he would cough so much phlegm up. Um, you know how I felt? Like, you know what I just did? What? Stop. Stop. I shit. I swear on my fucking life. I stood by the window before the reading. Now, here's the thing. Before I do something, especially something that's important, yeah. I get a little nervous. So I'll like like cough and I like get nervous, but no, I was spitting out the window, like <coughs> poo, poo, like that. And I was like, what the yeah, fuck? That was my dad. Oh my God. Because you know why? Because he had um, high blood pressure and he wasn't supposed to eat salt, but he didn't want to listen to the doctor. Girl, he was always, I always caught him eating that shit. He was always being bad, eating that shit. Yeah. Coughing it up. <clears throat> um, yeah. But like, had, um, What's that? What's that called? Um, when you have water, water, your water weight, In, like inflammation. He had yeah, like that. Um, I think it was. I forget what it was called, but yeah, he had that, and he would always get it in his throat. Because I, because I felt like I, I literally took. I'm not kidding. Manuka honey. I was coughing and spitting all that stuff. So that's why I'm saying that is. He wanted to before the reading started. Oh my god! <laughs> make it, no, no. Look, this is how I felt. No, I'm no. So excited. <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell you why. Cause, cause obviously, serious like that. If I don't, he was like this. I know you're about to do this whole reading for Pisces or whatever, but I need you to let everybody know that I'm here with my daughter. Oh. Like, and he gave me like a you know, <laughs> attitude. 
That's a Leo attitude. That's that Leo attitude. He gave me that like powerful. And now that now that I mentioned him and I said it, made sure Aww, you're, okay. you're so I sweet, Flo. I love you. I can breathe again. I can breathe again. Okay. <laughs> He so, was like that everywhere we go. That's my daughter. That's my daughter. That's my daughter. Oh, so proud. He's like, he's like the biggest <laughs> ever. And I'm telling you right now, I never felt such energy. And you know, oh, my heart chakra is going off big time, man. Uh -huh. oh, See what I'm saying? And, and I'm going to tell you, uh, because after I talked about him and I cleared it up, he showed me like, oh, now I, I breathe fine. Like, like, and he gave me his breathing and it was like, right. ah, like, I feel like I can sing a song, dance. All right. Of that. Okay. He okay. feels young. Um, does he, did he like coffee by the way? Can I ask you? No, that was my mom and she was a Pisces. Okay. okay. Cause always um, with coffee. I, she got I had some I, I had to make this Turkish coffee before I started. I had, it's like Spanish coffee, almost Turkish coffee. It's like strong. Oh. It's like that. And before you I started, put milk in it, before I, no, before I started the reading, I just had to make a coffee for some reason. I had to. So I just wanted to well, see. Hey, it's probably my mom. Cause she was a Pisces. She was all, she would drink a lot of coffee. With my me. mom, my mom's a Pisces too, by the way. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now we have this thing. I'm going to tell you something really quick. Cause we're going to get into the reading, but um, I want to tell you this really quick. So we have this thing, your mom's a Pisces, my mom's a Pisces, but let me tell you one thing though. See, um, my father is a, they say he's a, it's a, he's a Taurus, right? But here's the thing right. for my whole life. I thought he was a Leo. Now I'm going to tell you why he used to wear a ring with a lion on it. And so everybody in the house would say, he's a Leo, he's a Leo. And then I looked up his date of birth and I'm like, no, he's a fucking Taurus. He's not a Leo. And why I just, did he say that? because he always wore that Leo, that lion ring. And he was like a Leo, you know, he carried that lion present, but my mom thought he was a Leo too. My brother, my sister, everybody, we were like, he's a Leo, he's a Leo. And then I found out because doing this, I was like, no, he's a Taurus. He's a Taurus, but that's weird because your mom's Pisces. I thought my dad was a Leo my whole life. So it's just very ironic. Another thing, right. another thing I want to share with the whole, everybody here. When I first started to say, oh my God, I think I'm not sick. I'm gifted. This is why I'm making a documentary. When I first started to say that, I started to watch tarot. Now I'm going to tell you a story about yourself that you definitely don't know. And then you could tell everybody that story that we went through yesterday. Oh my <laughs> so, God. Yeah. So I had no idea. I was talking to a celebrity. I was like, Oh no, she didn't believe it was me. But anyway, we'll get to I that. Yo, know, she, she dead ass was like, can you do me a favor? Can you just like your voice? She was like, Oh my God, it is you. She's like, I swear to God, Flo, I didn't think it was you this whole time. I thought it was so much. <laughs> and I'm like, girl, we've been compensating forever. And she's like, I like know. a year, like a year. She's like, I know, but I don't trust nobody. And I was like, I, I don't blame you. I don't trust nobody either. <laughs> okay. So listen to this. So I'm going to tell you guys, when I first started this, this tarot um, journey, figuring out I was a medium. She doesn't know. Sam doesn't know. Um, so this is the first time I'm sharing it with you guys. I um, saw her channel and she, she, she was, it was weird because she like, there was like a dark um, background and she was kind of like sitting there and she was, oh. re she was reading the cards. This is like a long time ago. She no, was, that was when I first started. <laughs> right, right. But listen, she was reading the cards and and I just remember what I was going through something, I think it was with the relationship or whatever. And the whole time she was like saying, it's almost like I was being talked to by her. And so I started like, cause at first, like everybody else was like, oh my God, tarot's evil. I'm going to go to hell. Right. And then I started watching her and I was like, yo, I was like, what the fuck? I love this girl. Like what's, what's with her energy. And then I started kind of like slowly, uh -huh. stalk, slowly stalking her, writing her little comments. <laughs> like, Hey girl, I love your I reading. Remember you told me you stalked me. Yeah. I, I did. I was oh, stalking okay. her. Um, Cause I'm, I'm a stalker low key. Nobody knows, that about me. <laughs> Nobody knows that about me. I'll be acting like, I don't care, but I'm a stalker. Hey, at least you admit it. <laughs> yeah. No, I am. Uh, I always tell people, your boyfriend's cheating. Let's go stalk him. <laughs> oh yeah. That's so much fun. I love doing that shit. Yeah. I love it. It's like the oh, steakhouse, okay. sit in the back of the car, have the donuts and the coffee. Yep. You know steakhouse. Saying? <laughs> okay so so you could tell them that you didn't believe that it was me for a fucking year that you're talking to me and then yep. you figured it out yeah i yesterday, said okay. 
You know how I found out? Because someone told me about the blue check marks on Instagram. They're like, that means that she's a celebrity. I was like, shut up. That's all it means. That's all. That's all I had to do is find out about. Because I'm not. I'm not familiar with Instagram. Somebody she's, was like, "Yeah, the little blue check mark. She's verified." I was like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" They're like, yeah. I find it funny that you're so much like me. Like, what? Remember when you were like, so? So she wrote to me and she was like, "Flo, um, yo." She was like, "Here, you could do this with your content. Create like this. Do that." And I told her, I was like, "Huh, just don't have my <laughs> I was like, I just want to get alive and." do shit like you know what i'm saying right. yeah i like your style though it's quick yeah. you know painless i can't you know um i can't get on the program for some reason like my spirit guides were talking to me for a while and they were trying to like bring me opportunities to like vamp myself up and vamp my page up and i and i want to i really do we but, can do it together you know yeah but at the same time sometimes i'm just like you know what um what am I trying to accomplish? Am I trying to be the next YouTube star? No. Am I trying to be famous? You're trying to heal. You're trying to raise yeah, I'm just Whatever I'm doing, I'm working through it with the people. So, okay. So we are here for yes. a spicy greeting. Yes. Let's talk about Jupiter real quick. Let's talk Wait, about you, Jupiter. You, go ahead. Tell us why you wanted to do the Pisces reading. Okay. Because you know, it's very expansive right now. The energy and everybody's so happy. Well, maybe not everybody, but you know, the energy's moving into that energy. Okay. We're moving into that phase. It's really going to matter about how we focus our energy and how our focus our in intentions at this time. Um, Pisces is the planet also the, of dreams. So even though we're, there's not really much ne Neptune energy, they are also ruled by Neptune, right? So those three in harmony like that, Jupiter, Pisces, Jupiter, and um, Neptune, it's a really significant time for everyone, not just Pisces, but Pisces. You really exactly, have yeah. benefit this year. Um, so that's why I wanted to do this reading for you guys. And I really love you. Like, I love you. And your birthday's almost coming out, right? <laughs> oh, my God. I think yes, I love Pisces, too, man. They're, you know what it is? I, you know what I love about Pisces? You can, right. walk, you can walk up to Pisces people. And th for those of you who have Pisces in your chart, I know that I have it in my um, only in my sixth house in my chart. And um, that's the only place I have it. Um, oh, that's a really significant place too. I know. So, uh, community, so, right? Support, yeah, so, community, help. Right. Um, and I feel like um, Pisces people, they tend to be like, or if you have a lot of Pisces in your chart, that's the opposite of Virgo, my sign. And when, when I meet a Pisces, I I don't know why I understand them. They Like literally, I remember meeting Judy from Bad Girls Club and she was like, I'm Jesus. I'm an alien. I was like, me too, bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, oh Jesus, I'm an alien, you know? And it was just like, I understand them because they're, they're fucking out of this world, which is exactly what we all are. Just, we just can't own up to it, but I love that. And I love everybody. So let's, let's get into the reading now. How we're going to do this is I guess, um, you can just go do some, you know, energy, read some energy, and then I'll, I guess I'll piggyback off of it. Yeah. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Okay. We'll be done. Yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. I, I, I go with the flow of the energy, you know what I'm saying? However it feels. All it right. We got the judgment card first. Mm -hmm. About time. It's that I'm seeing go time. I'm hearing go time. It's time to go. Move, move, move. We got the six of pentacles. Oh, wait, let me just go ahead. I'm going to put it right here like this. Six of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to do two cards at a time, okay? I don't typically do it like this, but I like it like this. That way my brain my brain ain't scram scrambled, you know? <laughs> like, like it always is. So we got the Judgment. We got the Six of Pentacles. I like this. Pisces. Oh, my God. So, service is what we were just talking about. You have it in your sixth house. That's sixth house energy. Virgo energy, Okay. Um, this is about giving back to your community. We got the emperor card. Oh my God, Pisces. I like this. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, really standing in your power, you guys. Um, I feel like someone's going to come in. Um, judgment. Someone's coming in with an offer here with the six of pentacles. They're going to help you. Okay. Um, this person is like-minded. They are spiritually guided towards you, Pisces. I feel like it could be another Pisces, a Virgo, a Scorpio. Um, who else? I'm hearing Taurus, okay? Um, and Aries, okay? Um, this person you could have worked with in... I heard I heard MLM. So this was, this was like two years ago, and they're saying MLM. So this person is... 
They are starting their own business now. I feel like they're going to come to you with a business opportunity of some sort. This could be involving helping the community. So like, there's like some sort of nonprofit here I'm seeing. Um, oh. With this person, they could be trying to start something for their community, for their for their community. And I feel like they, you have some sort of know-how. They want your expertise. Okay, so expect something from them. I am getting to like a blessing is coming in from this. So if you come in, if you decide to help this person, I feel like you guys are going to be rewarded with the judgment card. Okay. All right. Love. Um, so <clears throat> as you were speaking, of course, um, as we're both channelers, intuitive people, um, and of course, um, I, I consider you a medium too. You just probably just don't see it that way yet, but I do consider you that. But I, I was getting hit on the left uh, on the right side of my head, right here on the bottom. So again, I always say what I felt during the reading so that you guys can maybe pick up on the energy. Um, for some reason, I'm hearing Jewish. I don't know why, um, but I was hearing Jewish. Um, so it could be somebody that's like connected to a Jewish organization, like you were saying, right? Remember you yeah. were saying the organization? I feel like it could be something that has to do with, uh, you know what? Let's, I'm just going to go with the energy. I, I am hearing Holocaust here, okay? Now I don't <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing that, but um, I think what it, this might have to do with is survivors. Yeah. And, and also um, this, this has to do with something that's connected to your past lives that is linking in this lifetime, because there's something that you didn't, I'm hearing complete in the past life that is connecting with you in this lifetime. So when you meet whoever this person is, because I do feel like this is a person coming in with the offer. Now, whatever reason, I'm going to tell you like this, this feels like this, you're going to, it's like, get the opportunity, but <clears throat> the weird shit that I'm feeling is this is going to have nothing to do with your intention. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, let's say somebody says, Hey, I want you to be a part of my company, blah, blah, blah. And then you don't like the things that they're doing in their company so-called, but you go there anyway to put your own implement into it. You understand what I'm saying? That's how I'm feeling it. So I'm going to pull two cards and see what it says here. Ooh, Pisces moon, first house. Mm, interesting. Okay, let's see here. Um, I also heard somebody's moving out. Um, if you're worried about the house, it's going to work itself out. Thank you, spirit, because we need to hear that right now. Amen. Right. Girl, yeah. we, we have been looking for a house it's 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 crazy um but anyway so let's let's put that prayer on whoever it is okay uh, all right so we do see the king of swords here so that's aquarius libra uh gemini energy typically i would see the, the king of swords as like somebody who's going to cut people out of their lives or cut things out of their lives but i'm i'm seeing this more as somebody coming to you like with a pen like a a strong man with a pen. I don't know why I'm seeing it that way. And I do see the four of cups here. So I, again, this offer that we're talking about, that it might be something that you're not, at first you're like, mm, I don't like this. I don't like the way this sounds, but it might be something that would be a good opportunity for you. You got a lot of cups and swords here, but there's a movement forward, okay? With the moon card at the, at the end of this. this oh, there's a lot of swords here, guys. Okay, really quick. I'm going to say this for somebody out there who's signing anything especially during Mercury retrograde, please right. yes. read that contract, ask questions that I don't give a fuck if they get annoyed, ask the questions. Okay. Right. right. Okay. All right. Go ahead, baby. Girl. It could be really tricky moving at this time as well, you know, especially if you're renting or you're buying. Okay. If you're, if you're buying straight out, like if you're just going to plop money down, you want to read everything, okay? You don't want to, because that, that's non-refundable, right? It's a big decision. And Mercury rules communication, rules um, text, it rules our, our um, technology, written communication, everything, okay? So very important. Um, and when we say retrograde, it just means that the planets are going in reverse. So what it means is it's not in harmony. So, and, and also I want to mention this. It, it's not in harmony and the thing so thank you for saying that because this needs to be said to somebody right. whatever is not in harmony in your life at the present moment mercury will bring that up for review like hey mm -hmm. you haven't been really taking care of this so i'm gonna show you really quick for instance if if like right now like 
spirit been telling me clean your gut out do a fast do a cleanse and i and i i wasn't listening and then i was having problems with my stomach and going to the bathroom and now i'm doing the cleanse because i'm like all right they they were like bitch you don't want to listen i'm gonna show you what happens when you don't listen you need right. to clean your stomach so i'm doing that so you know i'm not gonna lie i ate a half a pizza before but fuck it you know i was hungry <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, man, i was stress eating before i got on today oh. i didn't want to get nervous man i get so nervous <laughs> And food. I don't know if anybody else has this, but this could be for somebody else. If you have things, issues with food and eating, I have had a dream that me and my daughter were waiting online for um, soup and food. So in a past life, we starved, starved. We were starving. We were in a place. Oh. We, were, we were on a boardwalk. Like it looked like Atlantic City to me, which is probably why I love Atlantic City or like I connect to it. Or when I go there, I feel eerie. Yeah. Um, like Atlantic City. And when we were there, we were all waiting in line for like a piece of bread and some, some soup. So I'm like thinking maybe that's where the connection comes with the food thing, because I was starved in a lifetime. And I'm like, I'm not starving in this. That would make so much sense. Why you came back as Virgo. Oh, that really make a lot of sense. Uh, Especially because Virgo rules the health. They rule essentially the gut gut. Virgo community as well. Helping others. You know, it's like to to hit rock bottom. Facts. All right, I'm gonna pull two. Oh man. What, what, okay, what? I heard the kids keep on coming. All right. So yeah, this is okay. So some of you don't want to hear this. Okay. There's past people coming back, but I am getting this is a love interest. Okay. This is someone who typically they take a long time to arrive because they are too busy crossing their T's, dotting their I's. Okay. They want to make sure they get it right the first time. So whoever's coming in, I feel like this is either a teacher. Okay, this could be a teacher, this could be someone who loves you, who wants to be with you, who wants, um, for some of you, a twin, okay? I, I know we're not gonna go off of the twin flame shit, but you know, it could be, okay? Oh, oh my you God. You know, the only one that crosses the finish line is the slowest moving night. Um, he is, I'm just gonna keep it real, this is somebody who you had an argument with, five of swords, it could have been at some sort of celebration. Oh. Girl, this you are, person, you are, go ahead, you keep going. This person could be a teacher, though. I'm getting it's a teacher, because this is Virgo for me, all right? I mean, this Virgo, Virgo's a teacher, Virgo's a teacher, right? <laughs> so this could, be a teacher. this could be a teacher, and this person, this mm-hmm. they're coming back in. I feel like you need to be open and receptive to what they have to say, Pisces, okay? They have a lot of know-how, they have a lot of knowledge. I am getting a lot of energy around forbidden knowledge, okay? Oof. So- they know more about you, I'm hearing, than you know about yourself. Pisces don't want to hear that, though. <laughs> we got the justice card, okay? So this is like, I'm getting divinely guided. And also, um, someone's karma. So this person could be coming back to deliver some sort of karma. Up here. Not to you, but about someone who received karma. That's what I'm hearing with the five of swords in reverse. Don't know what that's alluding to. All right. First of all, I, I almost shit my pants because of, of the accuracy, because I don't know if anybody else resonates with this, but I had a fucking dream just last night, the other day, the first guy that I was ever quote unquote air quotes in love with. And I got like his name tattooed on my back and all this stuff. I, I was with him for like four years and he was a Pisces and he ended up like cheating on me for like eight months i had no clue because i'm like today whatever (laughs) and i had no clue and then i found out he he, his mother appeared in my dream and i was packing a luggage coming out of the house and she goes to me where are you going and i was like oh i just came to see it's like almost like i saw them so clearly they keep coming up in my dream and i shit you not I've done those, you know, those soulmate things on Instagram, those little fun things. And each time a fucking Pisces comes up as my soul soulmate, I'm like, oh. but I'll tell you something, the best relationships and friendships I've had with Pisces and the most fun I've ever had was with a Pisces male. We, right. always, we were very active. We went and did things. We were social. I, I'm not jealous. They're not jealous. Because you, you guys are opposites though. Like you guys complement each other. You know, you're like, uh, how do you say it's like uh, covalent bonds. Yeah, it is. It's a nice blend. And um, uh, unless like if you don't know a Pisces male, they might come off as sort of like mm, assholey or kind of, like, <laughs> they do. They usually do. And I'm getting my right ear is getting like, oh, they're telling me that if you meet someone and they come off like this, they will seem like a dick at first. Like, right. 
Um, but like, let them talk a little bit or let them like get comfortable with you. Because, you know, if you, you, you want to think about that, if you meet right. someone and they're just like, Hey, how are you doing right away? Do you, do you really want to be with somebody like that? Cause that means that yeah, they're too friendly, man. man. Like you don't want no friendly ass hoe as a, as a boyfriend. Like that's just like, now you got to worry everywhere he goes. He's a friendly motherfucker. Right? <laughs> Bitch, I don't want you friendly. You better go out there and be like, how you doing? Okay. Thanks. Bye. You know what I'm saying? There's, like, a, lot of, there's a lot of people like that who just, when they meet you, they're automatically just, I don't know, just okay with you. Just like, well, okay. okay. So I, I tend to, I used to tend to be that person, but that was when I, I was in my naive stage and I really was. Right. But today when I meet somebody, if I'm nice to them, it's simply because I feel like I should spread that kindness. But like, if somebody's not nice to me, that makes me want to be nice to them even more. Cause I'm like, I'm going to break right. this bitch. Like, I'm going to break this bitch. She's not going to walk <laughs> here and not smile for me. Who the fuck? Yeah, like, kindness, who kindness. You know, you, you, sometimes they need it more than you do, man. A hundred percent. Cause if they're right like that, that's something like, eats up in, inside of them, you know, yeah, they, though, if it's a woman, she's hasn't gotten no dick in a while. She maybe <laughs> needs somebody, she needs somebody to say, you look so beautiful today. And I've done that. And girls, they turn around, they go from, I'm like, you look so beautiful today. And I'll say it with genuine, with, with genuinity. There, there I go with that word again. <laughs> and this one lady in the gas station the other day, she goes, she was like, <laughs> and I was like, you look really beautiful today. That dress, gorgeous. She went, thanks. Oh. <laughs> and she like smiled and then walked away. And I was like, you see, I still got it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do, man. That's, That's what you gotta do. You it's gotta go around and touch everybody with your love, man. Exactly. I mean, you Tap know, on your shoulder. Let them know. Yeah, I'd like to actually go around and touch everybody, but I. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> see now you're trying to do one of those. You know, you see, she's, she's such a prank. Flo is so bad. Oh my god, she's a bad influence on me. I posted, <laughs> listen, one thing, ooh, that car flew, that car flew, and here we have a Taurus Virgo and Capricorn again, I posted, oh. I posted that meme, every girl has been on the couch while her friend is getting dick in the other room, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, bitch, I've been in the other room, I have five in her while she was again, someday, high five, <laughs> good job, good job, you're doing a good job, okay, let me start, with the music, with the music of real loud, right? Like damn, and you can still hear them. Like shit. I mean, really. I mean, there's proof of it on TV. I'm like, I'm watching. I'm just, oh, never mind. You know what? I'm not gonna go there. All right, I see a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn here, and it's it's it looks like a. a okay, hold on, because I'm getting a message here. Hold on. Uh, yeah, but can I say something? Would you? Can I ask you? Because my dad was like a a crazy social person like very fun very outgoing would your dad have been like that where they think should have like this funny my dad was really like he was kind of like every he didn't have to really try people just gravitated towards him because I, he, I heard them laughing like when we were making jokes they thought it was funny you know what i'm saying he, he, oh he had a sense of humor oh trust me all right um, i think that's where i get it from <laughs> no no he does they they do you know what's weird because sometimes like um, I'll think about that like my dad I'm like oh, I don't want to embarrass him in the spirit world like look at your daughter she's acting a fool she's but, acting a fool again <laughs> but his, he, I'm like I'm sorry but you didn't see me do some wild shit motherfucker <laughs> wild so oh like, my God. I'm joking like that. but like now I notice that they just like that's just my kid she's funny and that's just how she is her personality okay right. so we have a queen of pentacles here a knight of pentacles and the wheel of fortune which is Ooh. Yeah. And then the seven of pentacles. Ooh, is right. Yes. Yes. I, I don't even know what the F this means, but all I see is money and yeah. religion. like, I'm just seeing money and Queen of pentacles and then, yeah. What? Oh. Tell me what you're feeling. Cause I'm kind of just, the ace, okay. I got the ace of cups and the judgment card again, the judgment card showing up again. Oh, so oh, this is like when the judgment card shows up, this is like, your your this is like the north node. This is your purpose. This is what's yours. This is this is judgment day. This is divine intervention. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is you coming together with your higher self. Mm -hmm. The ace of cups is here. So love. I feel a lot of love from the divine. Proud of you, Pisces. Yeah, yeah. You've endured so much shit. Judgment also shows up. You know, that is scorpionic energy. 
Um, it's about transformation in a way because it's about death and trans well, it's death and rebirth over and over. But I know it's not the death card, but it is Scorpionic energy and it's it's mainly just saying like I feel like two worlds coming together when I see this because look at how there's two there's a month oh, is that a sun and a moon that's a sun and a moon okay I don't know if you guys can see that jeez I it's see it so, can you see it I can't see the screen because it's so little but um yeah it looks like two worlds joining together okay and then we have the ace of cups so overflowing with love this is a wish fulfillment granted by the universe. Sheesh. This has to do with love because let me, can I say like, as you were talking, um, I pulled a few more cards and then we got the, after the, the queen of pentacles, knight of pentacles, wheel of fortune, seven of pentacles, knight of cups came up, the sun card, the four of pentacles. And then I pulled this, the Scorpio card, death card, the two of wands. And how I'm seeing this is like whatever opportunities that, that's coming in. You've been praying for something for a while here. I'm going to say like, I'm seeing somebody this is the kind of prayer. It's not just like, oh God, like, you know, you know, bless my, it's more like, Hey, um, hello. I, um, hardly ever do this, but I need your help. I know, you know what I'm saying? Type of prayer. That's how I'm feeling. And whatever it is that you've been asking for, I feel like spirit. It's funny because I'm getting a little emotional because I actually have a meeting with someone after this. And it's on Wednesday. I also have another meeting with like these tech guys from Israel, like, and Jewish, I was hearing Jewish before. Remember? So there's a lot going on and, um, if, if I'm sharing this because I feel like somebody needs to hear this, oh, I'm gonna get emotional. Okay. So don't for a cry, don't cry, don't cry. The reason why I'm I'm doing this is so you guys can feel, and maybe you're feeling this energy, and I need to talk about it really quickly. I'm gonna make a short I promise. Um, there's been a lot. Like I've been going back and forth with myself for a lot of things, like. You know what I'm talking about. I told you on the phone. It's like back and forth, back and forth. Like, am I yeah. doing this? Is this the right decision? Is this going to make me look bad? Yeah, life-changing decisions, right? Life-altering oh, huge, decisions. Huge. Like, I'm making decisions right now that could possibly take me in a whole different direction from the direction I'm going, or it could keep me here, or really, it's, it's tough, okay? And so this is the moment, like, I'm telling you guys this for a reason, I'm really feeling strongly from spirit. They're saying, choose what is best for you. Do not think about what are they going to think? How is that? Yeah. How is, how is it going to make them feel? You have to choose what's best for you because you have been working your ass off. Like I, like I have, like we have working our asses off to like, I don't know what we're trying to reach, where we're trying to get to, but wherever you're trying to get to, I'm hearing from spirit. You're already there. You don't need to get anywhere. And that's when I started to realize that's the only way the blessings are going to come to us is if we stop wanting to reach something, you know, like when we're not trying to reach a specific place, how can we ever feel like we lost out when we're just right. we feel like we're there? Okay. <laughs> so I had to pull a couple of cards um, for a second. Cause I just have to. So for you guys that I got the judgment card for, um, it does talk about like prioritizing your um, self. Okay. Reevaluating yourself as you are moving into this period, okay? As you guys are moving into the period of wealth, prosperity, abundance, and love, romance, whatever have you, you need time to regenerate, time to reflect, okay? Look back and see how far you've come and really appreciate those mishaps, you know, slip-ups, whatever happened in the, in the recent months or the recent year, I'm hearing the recent year or two years. Appreciate all of those milestones and the obstacles because that is what made you okay that's what's going to ultimately bring you to the next level and there's multiple levels you guys are not even finished we're, we're nowhere near finished all right mm -hmm. you are you you can't even imagine what god the universe has in store for you so looking back at everything it's going to really help you it's going to help you gravitate towards what it is that you deserve um exactly and appreciate yourselves, you guys. Appreciate what you've been through. You know, um, Pisces, I don't know if you guys know this, but Pisces endures, out of all the signs, they've endured, they endure quite a bit. Um, oh. pain, um, you know, they have a lot. And it is your karmic justice to be praised and loved in the end. Okay, so 
you guys be be humble. Um, I will get closer to that that victory. Okay. Um, it's very important that you stay grounded. Okay, girl, she's making me want a cigarette. <laughs> Greg is one of the cigarettes, like three weeks. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. I've I've I I stopped smoking cigarettes and I'm not smoking a lot. I'm take I'm literally smoking one or two a day, right? Right. I had the vape and I'm thinking that's better for me, but what what ha- what was happening was I was vaping all day and feeling like I couldn't breathe. So I'm like, you know what, if I'm, I'm really dying to smoke something, listen, we don't do drugs. Me and Sam are clean. We don't do drugs. We don't, we try not to drink and all that, but, um, we're, we're clean. You know what I'm saying? We stay clean. Like, so I'm going to do something. Sometimes when you're doing this kind of work, something's got to give, like, I need something. Glass of wine. Sometimes I just need to be like, bitch, I need to unwind right now. This is my... I say, listen, I feel like I smoke a blunt. I'm like, ooh. She's like, I need no fucking cigarette. Yeah, you know, and so, like, that's why I stopped using the vape because that shit was killing my chest, man. I couldn't breathe. I was like, no. Nah, right. Like, and I thought I was bad with the cigarettes, but right now, because I'm reading, I don't know who smoked cigarettes, but they were like, light up a fucking cigarette. Plus, I <laughs> almost broke down and cried like a little bitch in front of y'all, so I had to man up real quick, you know? You know what? what? I'm proud of you, Flo, because of what you told me, you, 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 you're, you know the divine has your back in whatever decision you make, right? So just know, like, hey, I'm proud of you. Regardless of your decision, you do what you're guided to do. That is what you do. That's what a true medium does, yep. okay? You, you do what you're guided to do and use it. Whatever, you, whatever happens, just use it and magnetize it, alchemize it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, he's like, you know, I, I, I was, I was um, like, I'm, I can't talk about obviously what it is yet guys when right. this, well, yeah. well, you all know, and you'll be like, what? we don't want to spoil it. You, you yeah. know what I mean? You're it's under contract. It's a surprise, <laughs> exactly. It's a surprise, but right. you're under contract. you can't talk about it. I'm making a conscious decision and I know that I'm going to go. Here's the thing. I, I like, I don't want to talk about my personal stuff. We're supposed to be doing Pisces reading, but maybe this is going to help somebody out here. Right. The way I do things now, whatever situation I'm presented with, instead of talking a lot, I just listen. I pay attention to the energy. How do I feel? How am I feeling? Am I, am I drained? Do I feel excited, happy? Am I disappointed? And I listen to the person speak more than I do the talking. And then whatever energy they give me, if I feel my intuition immediately says to me, Flo, no, then it's a no for me. But if I'm like, yeah, you should probably do this. This this is something that you need to do. I'll do it. So whenever you are heeding your intuition, I guarantee you guys, the first thing that you're feeling is always the right thing. And when you go out, when you go back on it, you're going to fucking realize you should have listened to your intuition. Exactly. I cannot count how many times I wish I would have listened to my intuition. A million. Life and death situations. I put myself in like, you know, you were right. Why do you question yourself? If you're, you're being guided to do something and it, it scares you, but you are also like, sure of yourself that it's the right decision yeah, just exactly. it. Yeah. especially if you're having dreams about that shit you really need to listen to your ancestors that's how they get in touch with you that's how they guide you and they won't they will never stop guiding you however i can tell you something that happens to me if i don't listen to the intuitive nudges i will go mm-hmm. for like four or five days they'll be like bitch you're on your own right now you know what i'm saying like real quick let me show you <laughs> Let me show you what it's like to be on your own. And I'm like, oops, I'm not doing that again, you know? So fly a solo right now. And, and then all kinds of shit starts unraveling. Right. They give you they give you hints, but if you don't pay attention, shit starts unraveling, and then that's the next, you know. Exactly. So um, right. I'm gonna pull um just really quickly from the alien oracle deck because I know my Pisces people love their aliens just like I do. Oh yeah. Um, I'm going to quickly pull from the alien or- Oracle deck and see like, what- I need to get me one of them. <laughs> I love this. I got it at um, Barnes and Nobles and I ran into it. And it's funny because I-, I was doing my nails. And then that day I started channeling energy and it was weird. And my nails are the same color as this deck. If you know, oh, yeah. And it was weird because I'm like, it's exactly the same color though. It's not even like off not even one bit. That's the creepy. Oh, I like that color. I like that. It's my favorite. Yeah. I love nails. Yeah. So, okay. So I'm going to pull an alien um, Oracle deck just to see like what our star ancestors are guiding us for right now, because they are completely involved in our story right now. And what you guys need to realize is that they are completely always I cannot even. <laughs> She's getting a download, guys. The fact that I said if I pull this card with the same color as my nails, because the rest of the decks they don't really have like that color. Where? Why is this like? Oh, they don't really have that color. Look and look what oh. card. I pulled. Look at this shit. Peace. Oh man! Oh, I like that. That's crazy. I pulled this card and it says, 
It's number 26. So that's number eight, the number of abundance. And it's alchemy, the philosopher's stone, infinity, destiny, and magic. Let that sit in your system for a second because. The magician. Okay, baby. I'm going to come for you in a second, okay? Hi, say hi to everyone. Hi, Reedy. Oh, she's so beautiful. I love you. Love you. Um, but um, I, I will say that this is, has a lot to do with like, um, and you got the third eye energy here as well. So you guys, your third eye is opening here. Um, I feel like you're connecting to your, and I have the Venusians. There's a love, love energy, right? Venus just went direct, right? So um, if, if yeah. that, you know, when it came to love and all that stuff, like if you're feeling like it was just back as backwards, like I'm feeling for you guys that this is a strong change in the energy when it comes to that but i feel like for a lot of you guys this is if you look at both of these cards they both have big eyes on them look at that they both right. have big eyes awakened they are awoke as yeah well. like they're both eyes. I, 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 so use your third eye use your and i'm seeing the brain waves on this card like it's like expanding here okay through the auric energy through the third eye so there's going to be a lot of like opening of the uh, throw, uh, throw, I said throat chakra. I said that. Hey, so, Mercury communication. Yep. Ooh, somebody gonna be getting some money, boy. Money, 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 money. Look at that coffee cup, bro. Oh, do you read? Do you read? Mm -hmm. Do you read grinds? Grinds. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, hit it. That's dope. Real quick, I'm gonna tell you that I'm, I'm seeing a clump of money here. Somebody receiving it, and it's staying with you this time because. It's, Ooh. it's in the cup it's at the bottom of the cup and i am seeing i'm claiming it I'm okay claiming I'm, it. I'm seeing um <laughs> two two trips two long trips and a couple of short ones as well and oh. um, yeah definitely oh there's definitely one trip and it's wide open you're it's gonna be it's gonna be successful for you i'm seeing a heart at the bottom of it but i'm also seeing the letter v I'm oh, seeing. victory, victory. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> victory, Thank Thank for victory, yes. Yeah, and um, I'm seeing a couple of birds here, so there could be messages from- oh, Alicia, I can't wait to read this to you guys, hold on. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, because that's- I Number guess. 21, baby, Pisces. That's number 21, and that's your shit, because you're 12, right? Number three. 21, baby. number three is yes. my- my life path number two, so wow. Oh, snap. Mm -hmm. Ascended masters, okay? Number three, guardians of the land, protection, all right, you guys? I wish I could pause it, but I can't. <laughs> I usually pause it when I do this part just so I can just jump right in. But, oh my gosh, I just want to read, like, the first part of it because it's about mm -hmm. protection. It's about how you are guided, okay? So um, guardians of the light, holy Ooh. crap. Um, Number 76 could be significant. Picking up big energies here, man. Wow. wow. wow yeah. They're saying you're safe, Pisces. These words seem to emerge from a land and radiate from trees to echo in your soul. You hear these words again and again. The sacred guardians of the land are whispering to you. You are safe. You know what you you know that you are protected and, and you are cared for. You can feel tendrils of loving energy wrapped around you and embrace you. Their unleashed power cocoons you in safety. You are enough just as you are. Yes, thank you for that message. Everybody take them. You guys, guys got to understand that message is so important and valuable right now because a lot of us do not go for the things in life, whether they be spiritual practices, whatever you're going through because of fear right and we're afraid right. that, like you know sometimes i don't know if you've ever had this sam like sometimes when i'm oh, reading, every day fucking yeah. flow every day it's, i'm like am i good enough yeah exactly. are they all gonna laugh at me that exactly. one is the big one are they gonna laugh at me yeah um you know I, you know it's funny i'm thinking about yeah. that part and carrie they're all gonna laugh at you they're yeah <laughs> gonna... <laughs> i hear it no every time before i do anything i'm like i hear that exact freaking scene uh, my mom used to watch it all the time and i remember thinking <laughs> oh my god but they're mom, not they're not. My head. <laughs> they're not and you know it's funny i just i i realized i stopped worrying about like what people think but 
Right. This is important because even when I was doing tower readings, I would have my daughter sleeping on a bed here and I would go downstairs like sometimes and I, and I, I would hear one noise and run upstairs and be like, who's in here? Who's in here? It's a spirit. Like, get the fuck out of this room. I told you when my daughter's sleeping, you stay. Yeah. That's what I experienced growing up, all of the like being held down and seeing spirit in a corner, it terrified me. And I don't want her to experience that. And, and spirit has told me time and time again, don't worry. We're going to let her be a child. You do what you need to do. You experience that for a reason because you're going to be going through this and you you need it to be strong but sometimes you get scared you get worried you know so yeah. this is confirmation you're protected Flo you're protected and so is your daughter all and everybody you. watching all you guys are. you're all protected all right um Sammy let's pull out a couple more cards and, and then we got to go because at 5 30 I have that yeah I gotta get going too you guys so okay. I'm gonna pull another oracle from yes, the oh, let's pull out my white light oracle okay awesome I like this deck. It's really beautiful. You got to get to this deck. Do you have it yet? What does it say? White Light Oracle. Oh, I like that. She's so pretty. All right, let's see it. You go first. So I, see, um, um, I got for you guys. Oh, interesting. The, because the morning star, that was known as Venus, right? But also, if you think about it, Lucifer was also known as the, as the morning star. Right, Lucifer, Lucifer, the morning star. Right, he was the morning. Yeah. Star. Okay, but anyway, it says Queen Esther. My ego is in service of my soul, and I trust my soul's divine timing. Ah, oh, I like that. That's exactly where the ego belongs, right there. It's in service of your soul because without your ego, honestly, people say like you got to get rid of the ego fully. But sometimes, yeah. the, the ego serves your your soul's purpose. The ego, the e ego is services your soul, your ancestors, your gods. Your it gives you that strength to like be like, I'm cool, I got this. Right. It kind of gets you that. But if you could work it's with the there ego, to be, home. it's there to be like a protector in a way. Right, right, exactly to protect you from being naive and and silly and and just letting people shit on you all the time, you know. Oh my God, before we started this reading, I was thinking about 528 Hertz. Okay. Mandala of the heart chakra. Okay. Number 17. This is all about raising your vibration, igniting your heart chakra. I don't know if you guys listen to Theta. I got tons of stuff on my channel right there. Anyways. It's really, it's really good to bring your vibration up and activate your heart chakra abundance is is easily attracted to you as well when you are in that energy so um 528 hertz is your message i'm actually gonna read it just really quick just the first part please, please do please do i love it okay so where is it at number 17 okay so 109 109 could be significant yeah look at those numbers those angel numbers and num the number eight keeps coming up for you guys so that's infinity and abundance a lot of infinite infinite possibilities in the that's my life path number <laughs> number eight girl because you infinite like a motherfucker that's why fucking shit okay so it says sometimes aspects of your life fall apart or don't go to plan this is so they can come back together in a beautiful new way it's called burning a bridge burning the forest down it's transformation rebirth igniting new flames awesome yeah. rising of the phoenix and you just said that number eight. rising of the phoenix bitch i had a dream number about eight. that too i had a dream about that too y'all gonna see yeah. some, yo you're gonna be rising out of the ashes out of the fire and into the love okay mm. Be listen appreciate out of fire. Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Remember this yes, girl. Yes, yes. Okay, go ahead. You guys, I love you guys, and I'm grateful that we did this, Sam. Honestly, I started this journey because of you, whether you want to admit that or not. <laughs> That's a fact. It's a fact. I told you this before, but I guess you didn't believe it was really me telling you this. So. Man, my heart chakra is going off. Right now. Because it's because it's true, and spirit is letting you know. Like this is real talk. Like you know, I have a lot of love for people that have um, guided me through my journey, and then we become connected. And it's weird because I was like, oh, she'll never answer me. Like she's a YouTube famous oh person, you know. Oh. And, and I'm thinking that way, and she's like, you know. So at the end of the day, thank you guys for you, you guys who have bought the badges and those of you who donate to the channel. And again, I'm still doing my documentary, but again. I'm moving right now. I got a lot of shit going on. Once I get settled, I'm going to be back on my shit. But for now, let me just get my life together, really, because the shit is a mess you right got, now. You take all the time you need. <laughs> I will. I will. Girl. But I'll, I still jump on lives. You know, <clears throat> I stop for a moment and jump on lives. Sam, I want to thank you for doing this with me. I love you. 
And I love you too. Any last words you want to say to the peoples? Oh yeah, you guys need to subscribe to her. Are they on, are they watching you? Are my are my viewers watching? You? Oh, um, for those of you who are, yeah, so I got some people. Yeah, they watch my viewers watch you too because I'd be sending people over there too. Um, those of you who guys are who are not subscribed because I looked at my my stats. I'm like, God damn, I get a lot of views on my channel, but a lot of views are not subscribed. So get right. your and subscribe. Just press the button. <laughs> press the fucking button. Right Girl, come on, I'm just I love you guys. Love and light, Sam. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh yeah, you guys. Oh my gosh. If you guys want free personal ratings, they're on my channel. They're, you're gonna get several, but I highly recommend the top two links. Okay, so if you guys go over there, you can oh, find. Oh guys, them. this is what I'm saying. Follow her because she does this thing where she constantly <laughs> puts constantly free shit for y'all to fucking pay attention. To. Like. It's, I know it's annoying, right? No, it's not. It's not <laughs> annoying. It's it's listen, that's the service in you, baby. That's the service. Yeah. I got Virgo in my fifth house, right? She's giving back. She's her she has a donation thing going on her chat for autism. You guys listen, the girl. Yes. Oh yeah, both she's my kids. Saint. Are autistic, she's a right? saint. Don't let her joke kid you. She's a fucking saint, and she plays this little like, I don't know. I'm just a you know, just a regular person with just a <laughs> A regular life. Meanwhile, she's a whole ass goddess. So please go for Oh, it. I love you so much. I love you so Thank much. You I'll talk much. to you later. Love and light to you. I'll, guys, I love you guys. And you got I my number. All right, bye.